you are surrounded with liars with now that numbers mbaka blast buari the spiritual director of adoration ministry enugu nigerian amen reverend father ejk mbaka has lashed out at president mohammed buari over his failure to address the nation's numerous challenges which resulted in the nationwide ensas protest mbaka who was addressing congregants at this year's all saint mass in enugu on sunday also alleged that several ensas protesters in enugu state were killed by security agencies and their bodies thrown into onyama valley he said that nigerians were in deep pain and President Buhari, who could have been a solution to this, succeeded in encycling himself with criminals and hooligans, people who do not just tell him lies, but rather they magnify lies, lies with Navdak number and feed him. Our leader seems to be reaping the seeds that they had planted. When somebody that you had not given job comes out to say that he is hungry and angry it was you that attracted such protest in the first place do you know how many youths that have died due to hunger the present government needs to apologize and they should also apologize for the errors of past governments it is not a case of answers or biafra God is telling these leaders today that they are wicked, maggots, wicked hooligans, and that they should know that this world is not our own or our home. They should understand this fact. All those who say they do not want to be misunderstood, and so they do not want to join Father Baka to talk. The fact is that even if you refuse to talk and lock yourself up for 100 years so that they will not say that you are fighting government, one day you must still die. Nobody is fighting any government. We are fighting bad governance. He alleged that a few days ago at Milliken Hill, after New Market in Enugu, people discovered corpses of those that were shot and killed during the recent protest. They dumped people's corpses. Their why families of those young men and women continue searching for them. Our leaders are evil. They need a man under anointing to tell them that if they do not repent, the way that the corpses of our young men were thrown into the valleys of Ubu Onyama at the Milikan Hill, one day, their bodies will be there too. The protest that the youth embarked on recently is what is called life of martyrdom. Some people have to suffer to change the country. If you suffer to bring about change, wellness and good godliness to a country, you are on the course of becoming a saint. That is why I am telling you that Nigeria can never be the same again. Whether you choose to misunderstand me or not is not my worry. That is your headache. Did you expect these young men to keep watching the country being swindled and looted dry by so-called leaders? Some of the young men who are now fast getting old had started working for the criminals in authority, hooligans in power. Since they were very young, I know that by the time some of the leaders listen to this message, they will begin to attack Fadambaka, but that is their headache, not mine. One day, enough will be enough. Thank you for listening to this news. <laughs> Fadambaka well i really really appreciate your uh, your courage and your many confidence towards um 
matters concerning this country. Father Mbaka has never for once lose out from speaking up and telling the truth. Yes, you have to speak up now. If you don't speak up, you will be dying gradually. It is your comments, your contribution that will help the quickening of this um, problem we are into in this country. Your contribution, your voicing out. Okay, look at the youths that just finished protesting. Is it not their protest that shaped the government and made the government to know that, yes, this is what the youths want? If the youths didn't come out in protest, the government will still be doing what they are doing. They will still be doing what they are doing. But to God be the glory that the youth voiced out. They voiced out. They made the president to know that they are they are very much fit to face any challenge. Mm -hmm. Just like Mbaka have just said, that the protests that have just been completed, those that came out to fight and protest are those that are that 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 have that have given up them that are ready to give up themselves just for the for the sake of the peace of this country. Had there been any of them died or some of them that have died, those ones can be declared a saint because they live a life of martyrdom. Sacrificing your life for those others to live and succeed. You understand? This reminds me, what Mbaka have just said now, just remind me of, um, of uh, what Okorocha also told President Mobari. He said that the president cannot be successful. That, that the only way he can be successful is when he do away with those incompetent aids is having around him which is true the president is weak and experiencing setback because of those incompetent aides that he has employed in Asorok. incompetent commissioners and ministers people that doesn't know their duties and carry it out wrongly those are the people that mbaka is talking about you understand so um my viewers um with this that i've just been said what is your take what is your take please deem it fit to leave your own comments below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you